Hi there, I'm Dale Mathis and welcome to my home studio in Sun City, Arizona. Uh, I am the programmer for all of the Roland accordions that are sold by Crown Music in Sun City, Arizona. And so I have got hundreds of videos out on YouTube and I do quite a bit of uh, frequently posting on Facebook on the various accordion channels, all playing on the Roland Digital Accordion. And uh, today, uh, what I want to do is uh, show you and tell you how to back up all of your programming on the FR8X. This is a very useful thing for you to do because in case there should ever be some sort of foul up with the computer system on your accordion, that you've got a means of uh, retrieving all of the sounds that you have created. Uh, now, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that uh, all of the accordions sold by Crown Music um, have my programming in them, and we do have hundreds of these uh, FR4X and 8X models out. I've already done a video similar to this uh, to uh, back up the 4X, so now I'm getting around to doing the one for the 8X. So the first thing that you need is you need a USB stick and you need to find one that works. Now the 8X isn't terribly fussy uh, whereas the 4X is really fussy um, and some sticks just will not work on the 4X. Uh, you'll probably have better luck finding one on the 8X. Uh, remember um, the technology for the 8X was probably created around 2012. Um, 2013 is when the organ, organ, when the instrument was uh, introduced uh, at, uh, to the American public. And so that technology uh, at the time, you know, as far as memory sticks, uh, a two gigabyte was probably the standard and was probably considered a huge stick. So today, finding a two gigabyte is nearly impossible. But if you've got an old one around, uh, and if you can empty out everything that's on it and use just that stick for this process, uh, it should work just fine. Um, the two current ones that I found rather recently that will work are the Lexar. Uh, this is a USB 2 and it is 16 gigabyte. And this one is from Staples, the office supply store and it is a similar, it probably is made by Lexar, um, it's a 16 gigabyte and uh, um, it's a 2.0. Uh, very large sticks, you know, like you see 64 and 128 gigabytes, uh, you're probably going to run into a problem with those. So the smaller the uh, gigabyte, the better chance that you're going to find that the stick works. So what you want to do is have a new or a completely empty uh, disk and oh and another thing I found is that scan disk brand most often does not work they come with a software program built into them and that seems to conflict with uh, the accordion programming so anyhow you want to start off with a new or a clean USB stick and only use it for this and then label it so that uh, you know this is precious for you so uh, you want to maintain that stick somewhere uh, so that in case you know, two years from now that you need it, that you remember where it is. So at the mycrownmusic.net website, I have got a page there called Owner Manuals, and that's where you'll find all the documents that I have created over the years uh, for helpful things for new owners when you have purchased an accordion from Crown, and uh, for uh, PDFs, uh, for processes that you might want to do at some point, uh, learning how, how the instrument functions. So, all right, so I'm going to take this instrument off and uh, put it on my desk here so that you can get a good shot of the screen up on top. Um, the one thing that, let's see if I can bring this in a little closer here. There we go, come on down. There we go. So, the controls that we're going to use on the front here, of course, is your power button, 
and the data entry knob, we're going to be using that, and uh, these four buttons right in here um, are of use to us. So we've got the up and down button, we've got the menu right button, and we've got the exit button. So we'll be using those and this uh, data entry knob. And so I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and we've got a good view of the accordion LCD screen and the uh, buttons and controls that we'll need to use over here. And so I was telling you that we need to be sure that the USB stick works. And the good way to do that is to make a test recording. And just in case you have never done that, uh, made a test recording for your accordion, what you're going to do is uh, touch after you have the USB stick in. And incidentally, both of those sticks that I mentioned, both of those brands, that Lexar stick, they have uh, little red lights on them. And so if the lights light up, uh, that is a good indication, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it will work on your accordion. So you want to test it to make sure that it will make a recording. So you go down to the very last little button on your instrument and you hit record. And you're going to see when I hit it on this instrument in the screen, in the LCD screen, if you watch that, it said record right there. And I'm just going to hit a couple of notes. And then I'm going to hit the stop button right next to the record button. Give it a second. And now you see my screen changed. And I'm just going to hit the uh, right button. And it said saved. So we know that the recording is going to work. But just to, uh, to tell for sure, I'm going to hit the playback button. There we go. All right, so you can hear my little recording. All right, so we're done with that. So now let's go into the save process for backing up all of your recordings, or not your recordings, but your programming. And this is a two-step process. You need to save your sets and you need to save your user programs. So first step to do is hit the menu right button and you see the screen changes. Now we're going to use the data entry knob. We're going to turn up to page 15 utility and push the data entry knob in. And now you see it says 15 1 and we're going to go up turning the data entry knob to the right to uh, export. And now I'm going to push the data entry knob in once. And you see the screen light up to yellow or green, or I don't know, yellow green, whatever that color is. And I'm going to push the data entry knob in a second time. And you see it says set is uh, highlighted in white. And now I'm going to push the menu right button. And you see it's blank here. And I'm going to push the menu right button a second time. And now it automatically named the uh, what I'm saving, which is all of my sets on the FR8X, and push the menu right button again. And it's going into the save process. Oh, and that was quick. It did not take long at all. And also, although uh, you can't see my little USB stick, Every time that I did one of those processes, the little red light um, in the LS, uh, uh, in the stick um, was flashing. Okay, so now the next step to this process is to use the data entry knob and turn it one click to the right. And now the screen says user program. And again, I'm going to hit menu right. And you see it's blank. If, if it's not blank, that means there's something on your disk. So uh, you got a problem there. Push it again. And this allows, this automatically puts in a name for the, US, for the user programs. And push the, the uh, menu right button one more time. And now it has to export all of the banks. So it has to do all 100 banks. So this takes a little bit of time. Duh. Da, 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 
da, da, da, as the clock goes by. And eventually, it's going to make it up to 100. The export process is pretty quick. See, and then it says operation complete. And so we have now saved everything. All right. So now we can exit out of this by hitting the exit button and hit it again and hit it again. And if I hit it one more time, we're back to our on screen. So now you have a backup copy. Okay, so now we have the backup copy. And say, for example, you had an issue with your accordion, or for some reason, um, you messed up your programming and you really want to get it back to where it was before you messed it up. And so now you've got that backup copy and you want to reload that uh, backup copy into your accordion. So as long as we're here on this video, I guess we'll just take the time and uh, do that. So, all right, so here we go. So again, we let's just start from scratch. So turn the accordion off. Now we'll turn it back on. Go through the startup screen. Okay, and we're ready to go. And during all of this, the little light on my uh, memory stick was flashing. Okay, so now I want to uh, take all of the programming that was on that memory stick and dump it into the accordion. So to do that, I'm going to start off by pushing the menu right button. And uh, there's your screen change and the data entry knob. I'm going to turn that up to Oops, not 17, to 15 utility. Oh, and also uh, I'm running the 2.52 uh, version of the firmware. Um, if you're running a different version of the firmware, uh, you will get different things on your screen, um, slightly different. So just be aware of that in case uh, what I'm telling you and your screen doesn't line up. It be, could be because you're running an older version of the firmware. All right, so now you push the data entry knob and you're in utility, page 15.1. And we're going to turn up the knob to the right to import. So what this means is you're importing from the USB stick into the accordion. And so we push the data entry knob in and it highlights the screen. And so now I'm going to import all the sets by pushing in the data entry knob again. And now you push in menu right once. And so there's the name of the file that was saved before. And push it again. And it's loading in. This will take a little while. Dup, 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 dup. It's a little slower loading in than it was. Uh, exporting. Okay, that operation is complete. And now we want to put all my old user programs back in. So I'm going to use the data entry knob, turn it one click to the right, it says user program, and push in the menu right button once. There's the name of the program. And push it in again. And so now it's importing all of my user programs. Now this does take a while. So let's see, what can we talk about <laughs> while this is happening? Um, let's see, gosh, I can't think of anything right now. Um, well, yeah, see how slow this goes? And this has got to uh, run up to 100 before we're done with this. Because right now it's at 12.8. 100. I could play a song in here and do something constructive, right? Well, while all this happens, actually the accordion won't play because it's in the programming mode. All right, I'm just going to stop the filming for a little bit. Okay, I've turned the camera back on and you'll see that we're just about done with the import process. And there we go. 
100 of 100 and now it should say complete or something coming up here pretty quickly there we go operation complete okay so now um, uh, at this point you can just turn the accordion off and you should be all good to go again uh, so let's do one more thing uh, interesting for fun uh, say you have been working on a user program bank of your own you know like in the Dale Mathis programming uh, well here let's go to it um, so let's exit out of this push the exit and exit out all right and now I'm going to reach down and I'm going to turn on my user program and so here you'll see in the screen that uh, this is bank one number one is brassy and you go through all I'm turning the data entry knob and of course uh, for you folks who are not real familiar with how the 8x works um, there are 100 banks of user programs and each bank has 14 registers in it because on the accordion you have 14 register buttons and so now I can make here let's go back here um, I can highlight that number one brassy by touching the number one register or another way that I can do it or like here if I hit number three you see Alpine lit up and or if I want to do it uh, manually here I can go say to trumpet and push the data entry knob in all right so uh, you know your current 8x owners you're probably already familiar with that but you know I know that I'm also dealing with many uh, people who may be considering buying a Roland 8x from Crown Music and getting Dale Mathis backup support so a little advertising plug here doesn't hurt us <laughs> okay so anyhow uh, what about um, if you have one of my banks and you want to move it somewhere or if you uh, are, have been working you want to create some of your own um, it, there are, are many reasons why you may want to move a bank of sounds somewhere else within the accordion's memory system so like when I go through this you'll see here that now it went to bank 2 and if I keep turning here you see it went to bank 3 and uh, you know, let's do a quick jump and I am going to go to uh, bank 33 and number one okay and you see I've got stuff way up here in bank 33 but um, for example uh, you want to create something of your own so let me try and get way high up in the banks here so let's try bank 66 and number one okay so you see it's empty and let's look at all 14 of the registers and you see that they're all empty okay so for whatever reason there might be say you want to take one of my banks so let's let's just use the the number one bank for example and you want to transfer it up to bank 66 and then when you've got it uh, transferred up there you want to change something about uh, that set all of those settings you want to customize it for your own but you don't want to mess up my original ones or your original ones something you have created so there is a way once you've got this USB stick in your accordion that you can transfer it and there may be other ways that I'm not familiar with but this is the way that I use so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to uh, user bank one so you see this 66 is empty and it's always a good idea to write down on paper what you're doing uh, as far as to remember that it's bank 66 or whatever bank number you use so I'm going back here and I'm going to bank one number one okay so I see that those are those first 14 sounds and I've gotten real familiar with them but I would like to make some changes to it for some reason so I want to transfer that whole bank number one uh, up to bank number 16 
but I'm not deleting it from number one. It's still going to be there. So what I'm going to do is exit. And now I'm going to hit the menu right button. No, oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, no, it is the menu right button. No, see, screw up all the time. All right, typically now, the, I hadn't turned the accordion off, but typically it would have turned on to uh, this spot, um, page, menu page number one. But we're going up, turn the uh, utility, or rather the knob, to uh, bank or menu page 15, push the data and entry knob in, and now, now there is a way you can copy sets, but I'm not aware of a way to copy user programs within the accordion, so um, we're just going to turn up through all these pages. And so I'm going to export bank number one. So how to get to that? Push in the data entry knob. And you see it says set. I'm going to highlight that. And I'm going to turn it, the knob to use a program. And now I have to hit exit and use the data entry knob and here it says user program file all. I just want a singular uh, yeah, bank, the entire bank I want to transfer. So bank and now hit the exit light or exit button rather. Turn the data entry knob and it is already set to user program bank one. I could have changed it to any other one but I want to uh, do user program bank one and uh, I think that's all I need to do. Let me turn this. No, don't need to do anything else. It's all ready. So push in the menu right button and screen is blank. Push it in again. And there it says uh, bank, user program bank one. Push the menu right button again. It's writing. Export bank one. Operation complete. Now I want to move that bank up to bank number 66. So to do that, now I need to exit out of um, export, which is 15.8, page 15.8, exit, and push the data entry knob, and I'm turning to import, which is 15.9, push the data entry knob, and it happens to have come up user program it typically it's going to come up here let's so uh, highlight that typically if you've just turned the accordion on it's going to come up as set but all right so i am going to import a user program and now push the exit so that that white light turns out and uh, we're not doing sets we're not doing sets we're doing user program and we're not doing all user program file, just one bank. All right, so now exit, turn the data entry knob, and it says user uh, program destination bank. Well, number one is there, but remember, I'm taking that number one bank that I had, and I'm moving it up to number 66. So I need to turn the data entry knob to the right until I get to 66. There we go. Exit out of that. Turn. Uh, no, we don't need any of that. So now I can just hit the menu right button. And it has the name of the bank that I'm transferring. So it's uh, user program bank one. Push the menu right button again. Executing. So it's importing it into bank 66. Okay, operation complete. So now let's exit out of all of that stuff. Exit, exit, exit. And now I'm going to reach down here and I'm going to push my user program light. And you see that I haven't lost my bank number one. It's still there. Now I could either manually crank through all of these banks until I get to number 66, or I can use the jump method, which is to just push and hold the set button. And this screen comes up, jump to user program. And I'll use my register buttons here and uh, number six, push it rapidly twice. And then push number one. 
and voila! There they are, all of those same sounds, brassy, classic, alpine, but now they're up in bank number 66, and so now I can uh, mess around with them and uh, change them to my heart's content, and I still haven't messed up my original programming back in bank number one. Okay, so if that was a lot to digest, I am also going to uh, post this stuff on the micronmusic.net website under the uh, heading of Owner Manual. So you'll find this video there, but you're also going to find a couple of uh, PDFs for the export and import, uh, you know, backing up of all of your uh, registrations so that you have something physical to look at in addition to this video. So thank you so much for watching and, uh, you know, I appreciate it getting calls from my customers if you need help with something. If you're interested in the market, if you're interested in purchasing a new FR8X or a new FR4X, you want to give Donna Thomas at Crown Music a call. I'll put her phone number in the screen. And uh, if you have a technical question that she can't answer about your accordion, uh, she can refer you to me. Um, I don't work with uh, customers who have purchased from another source other than Crown Music, but for uh, Crown Music customers, uh, your calls are always welcome. You know, we do have several hundred of these instruments out there, many hundreds actually. So we do have lots of folks to work with, and we're always looking for more customers to make you a happy rolling player. How about that? Okay, thanks for watching.